So um, on this one, guys, again, the main important thing is finding our U. And, and again, the kind of the trigger in my brain is whenever I see a trigonometric function, I know what I'm taking the function of is going to be an inside function. If that means I'm taking the chain rule for differentiation, or if I'm using U substitution on integration, I can easily see that that's going to be my um, x, or my u, I'm sorry. So therefore, now if I just want to find my uh, du, I could rewrite that as x to the 1 half, add, right, and then um, x to the 1 half, and then add and get my du, which is equal to 1 over 2 to the square root of x. As I go ahead and differentiate, that would be times dx. So I'm just doing the du dx and then multiplying the dx on both sides, which I said at the beginning of class. I'll show you a couple of them, and then I'll start uh, moving over very quickly. Now the problem is we don't have any u or 2 in here, do we? Right? So this does not equal our du. So what we'll need to do is multiply by a 2 on both sides. So we have 2 du is equal to, actually I'm not going to show that, is equal to 1 over square root of x dx. Well, we have a dividing by the square root of x, and we have a dx that we can represent by 2 du. However, this 2, we're just going to put on the outside of the integral. The next thing is now I'd like to go ahead and evaluate if you guys can please be kind enough not to distract from people that did not finish the problem or want to make sure they got it correct, is let's go ahead and evaluate for our upper end points. And again, guys, what I'm trying to make is u squared divided by 4 looks very crazy. But what application do we actually need to do with this? Take the square root of it, which is really just taking the square root of pi squared over the square root of 4. So the square root of pi squared is just going to be pi. The square root of 4 is 2. So we have pi over 2. We're going to take this 2 out. And then I do u of pi squared over 36. And that's going to equal pi over 6. And then I'll have cosine of my angle u and then du. Because remember, my du is basically represented here by the square divided by the square root of x dx and then times 2, which I threw on the outside. So does everybody understand at this point in the game, everything has been covered? I might change my upper and my lower bounds in terms of u. And my cosine of u and my du covers everything that's up there, right? And I would say once you guys get to that point, that's kind of like your check mark. Like, hey, stop. Make sure that everything is covered. Because now we get into the integration part. So now we're just going to integrate cosine. Um, so we integrate cosine. That's going to be uh, equal to uh, sine. And we're going to evaluate that from pi halves to pi over 6. So that equals 2 times the sine of pi halves minus the sine of pi over 6. Sine of pi halves, if you guys um, go ahead and look, is going to equal to 1. And sine of pi over 6, that's the same thing as 30 degrees. The sine is going to um, equal to 1 half. 1 minus 1 half is 1 half. 2 times 1 half is equal to 1. 